gonna step out and with him, girl, you fake. Try to get it out, what you handsome. You and dance on. Tell your boyfriend, go and put your pants on. The damn, the best friend. She went and did the same thing. I'm really mad, but she won't know. Everything has gotta be cool when we living so cold. Feel it in your bones. It's the NFL on EA Sports, and we are at Highmark Stadium in upstate New York. Today, we're set for a good AFC matchup between the Cleveland Browns and the Buffalo Bills. And we are underway in Buffalo. Here's Jakeem Grant from his end zone. And the decision to bring it out, not a good one, as he's tackled it to 15. some way to turn this into positive yardage as he struggles forward for a pickup of about two. Throwing on second and eight, Watson. That'll go for a gain of seven, and that will bring up third and one. To throw is Watson. He's going to drop this one down for Chubb. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. On first down, they'll run with Chubb. And a pretty good burst there as he'll get this across midfield and down to the 46. So first and 10 now in Buffalo territory at the 46. Down to the 42, second down. Second down at six now from the 42. Watson, slant around complete to Bell. And they're gonna get this down to about the 37. Here comes the seventh play in this opening drive. They moved it well, but here's third down. Slot man moves right. Watson to throw on third and one. And he'll hit the slant route. That's caught by Cooper. And he is going to have a Browns first down by a couple of yards as they're able to convert there on third and one. But they kept it simple there, CD, only needing the short gain to move the chain. So they didn't want to go with a deep throw. They just go with that safer, shorter throw and able to convert. Nothing wrong with that at all, partner. Check the box, right? Make sure you pick up the first down. Offense is getting established. You're moving the ball. You're not turning it over. Check, check, check. They like what they're doing early in the game. Taken down at the 30. What a luxury to have a guy like this who can not only spell your starter, but can come in and keep drives going. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Cooper, the man in motion right. Back to the ground. This time it's Chubb. And he works his way free all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone. That's good for a Cleveland first down and 11 yard pickup. Quite the opening drive march they're on right now. It looks a lot like what we saw in practice prior to the game, doesn't it? You know, because on that last big practice beforehand, you go through your offensive script, you go through your play calling, you go through all the stuff and establish things, and it looks like it's going like clockwork right now for them. That's complete to Peoples-Jones. And they've got this down to about the 12-yard line. They go with Chubb on second down. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Browns touchdown. Nick Chubb, a 12-yard touchdown run. And the Browns have taken the early lead on the road here in Buffalo. Quite the drive there to get things started. They took up the bulk of the first quarter. 
And they end up in the end zone. And I love your last point. Ended up in the end zone. Because a lot of teams like those long drives, especially to keep their offense off the field, right? Keep the ball away from them. But they finished it with a touchdown. That's the exclamation point. Now, flip it over defensively. They've got to slow that down somehow, right? Maybe they need to be a little more aggressive. Maybe a few more pressures towards the quarterback. A fairly short kick from the 14. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10 at their own 22. Throwing to start the drive. Allen. And he's taken down. This will be a Brown sack. Well, they're in some hot water now after that sack. It's second and 21. Working out of the shotgun. Here's Allen. Under pressure, and they got to him again. Sione Taki Taki in there to drop him. It sacks on first and second downs. Now leads to a third and long. Well, it's apparent that these guys are getting after it right from the opening kickoff. They roll right downfield and score on their first possession. And here on defense, back-to-back -back sacks. Someone is ready to play. Facing the prospect of a punt from their own end zone, they need some cushion. Let's see what they can do on third down. From his end zone on third and long, Allen. Isaiah McKenzie hauling it in. A heck of a play there on third down, but amazingly, they're still short for four. I think that we all figured when he caught it that short of a marker that the defense almost relaxed and said, we got this covered, and all of a sudden, space to run after the catch, and now they're screaming, somebody get him down. Fortunately, they got to him and forced the fourth down. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. They run for the first time with James Cook. And the big boys up front, they're going to stop him right at the line. It looked like they had the run stopped at the line of scrimmage, but the hand got up into the face mask, and the officials, they were looking for it. They spotted it. It's an easy call, too, when it's right in front of them. You see that neck twist just a little bit, and that's enough to draw the flag. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. They certainly thought he had an open look beyond the first down marker to his receiver, but they just couldn't connect, and that will send them back to the drawing board. To throw once more on second and 10. Allen, the throw on target to his receiver, McKenzie. And he'll be brought down on the other side of midfield at the 43. And forget about the run to set up the pass. They're just coming out throwing. Forget trying to set anything up. They feel like they have the advantage. They feel like they have the matchups, and they're just attacking right now. Yep, going to the air on the opening drive. And he is going to have a Bills first down, and comfortably so as he gets five there on third and a yard. First down, and they're going to throw with Allen. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Well, a momentary speed bump there with that throw, partner. The defense had other ideas, and they're trying to mount a small stand before this drive reaches the end zone. To throw on second and 10, Allen. He's got the hook up with Diggs. And all the way home for the Bills touchdown. Stephon Diggs, 38 yards. And the Bills are back within a couple of the lead. They'll try to run it here. And he'll get in to tie this game at eight. Needed a couple yards for the two-point try. They go to the ground game and it works. And sometimes it's the exact right thing to do because a lot of teams play you for the pass. So you spread people out, decide to run the football, you often find good running lanes. So 8-8, eight, eight, our score now as he'll send this one away. On the return from his end zone is Grant. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line.
The Browns drive about to get started. Well, certainly they'd rather have the scenario they had last time. Now, Charles, remember they had the short field. They took it in the end zone. Taking it right down Broadway. 30, 10, 5, and he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Cleveland. And with that carry, he's already over 100 yards here in the first half. And, partner, you know exactly what he's saying to his teammates right now, right? Especially to the play caller. Give me the ball. Again. <laughs> again. And again. And again. It's not that heavy, sir. I'll take it. They'll try and throw for it. It's complete. And he'll get into the end zone. That gives his guys an eight-point lead. York ready, and here we go as he sends this one away. Fields this way up. Now a hit and a loose football. And this is picked up by the Browns. And he's going to get this one to the 23-yard line. As that ball got away from him, and he saw the opposing team recover it. You felt his pain? Oh, I felt his pain, and you know what was going through his head. Tuck it away. Take care of the ball. All the things you hear all week in practice. He didn't carry it over into the game. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. What I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. Still nine remaining on second down. Here's Watson. And that's going to be caught by Peoples Jones. And he is out of bounds. Looks like right at the 15. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. They'll try the draw now with Chubb. And he will have the first down inside the 10 to the 9-yard line. 131 yards rushing for him now as his sensational afternoon continues. Cooper will come in motion right. They'll run with Chubb. And he'll barrel his way into the end zone for a Browns touchdown. Nick Chubb on his way to a monster game. Three first-half touchdowns. And the Browns have taken a two-touchdown lead now. So what a first half that he has had running the football. That now three touchdown runs. And I would anticipate that when they get down in the red zone, He's going to get more chances as this game goes on. And I think that the guys blocking for him are going to ask for him to get more chances. They like the rhythm they've developed. And he is into the end zone again as he scores both the touchdown and the two-point conversion to extend this lead. New York ready, and here we go as he sends this one away. Fields this way up at the 17. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. It was still more than a minute to go in the half. Time to try to mount a drive. And I would think that they would have to. This is today's NFL. You've got to push it whenever you get an opportunity. You can never have enough points with the high-power offenses that you face. And analytics will tell you, try and score when given the opportunity. Being chased out left. That's caught by his tight end, Dawson Knox. It'll be a gain of five, and it'll be second down. He was out there waving his arms. And when you got a quarterback out of the pocket looking for any help, I guess waving the arms is helpful. It certainly is because you got to get his attention because now you're in scramble drill. So everyone's adjusting their routes, finding open space, and he found the right spot for the completion. Throwing again on second down, but this time it's incomplete. Some of the fans here don't seem too happy about what we've seen in this first half. No, not at all, and I understand why. They've looked lethargic, out of sync, and it shows on the score. 
And again, it's Allen. And that will be incomplete. Has to be a little bit of frustration there. Back-to-back -back incompletions. Receivers blanketed on both attempts, this time on third down. Now the Bills are going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. So they're going for it, and here's Allen. Now the ball comes loose, and this is picked up by the Browns. There he goes left side. And he's into the end zone. It's a fumble return for a Browns TD. Well, Charles, not only did they fumble the football, but they're starting to fumble away their chances here a little bit. We've got a three-score ball game now here in the first half. And the last thing you want to do, partner, is help the other team with what are avoidable turnovers. You want to hang on to the football because you're already playing against a good team. You're just making it easier for them by giving them extra opportunities. And boy, things switched on a dime here. The fumble recovery for the touchdown and also a two-point try on top successful. That feels like a momentum call. Pick it up on a fumble return, take it the other way for a touchdown. That's demoralizing for a team to have it happen against them. So the offense just says, you know something? Let's add to it. Pile on top, go for two now while their heads are down. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape up past the 30. At their own 31 Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively, they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. 23 yards on the play. On first down, Allen. Another target for Stephon Diggs, and he brings it in. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. It's another first down as they look his way again, this time 19 yards. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. This from 44 yards out, left hash. And that is no good. So two quarters down, two remain. Charles and I return after the break. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth, ready for quarter number three. King York to kick off for the Browns. The Bills trail here, but they will get the football first as we are back underway on EA Sports. Pulls it in at the 13. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. And you have to think, Charles, down three scores already. They need to play an almost perfect second half to have a solid chance. And that absolutely starts with finding some way to put together a touchdown drive here. They need to be smart, fast, efficient, get the ball to the end zone, and do it again multiple times in order to have a chance to win this game. And meanwhile, Allen's throw going to be caught by McKenzie. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. So a first and 10 upcoming from Brown's territory now at the 46. Here's Allen to throw it. Looking left sideline, incomplete. Basically, you're not going to outwork two guys very often. Double coverage. I thought he was going to go somewhere else with the football. I get it. That's a stud wide receiver. You want to try to get him the football. Yeah, sometimes you rely on him a bit too much. You forget the other options that are out there. Allen's throw is complete. Yeah, he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. So they will tread backward on the holding penalty. And I know that they're going to get coached up and they'll get yelled out a little bit, but let's face it, it is hard not to do at the speed and pace that they play. Stop, 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 stop. 
Allen to throw once more. He'll find Gabriel Davis. And they're going to get this down near the 35-yard line. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. From the gun, it's Allen. Oh, into a sea of defenders and intercepted. And the Browns will have solid field position here as they take over at their 45-yard line. Watson and the Browns now with a first and 10 at the 45. Cooper, the man in motion right. They begin this drive with Chubb. And he'll be brought down at the 50 after a gain of about five. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. Second down, here's Chubb again. Let's give a lot of credit to the offensive line. They've been able to move the ball really well on the ground the entire game. And while that wasn't a huge one, that's okay. They'll take them in short, steady bursts. And Chubb will try the middle here. And he will have first down yardage as he's brought down at the 41. Five yards is the pickup there as that extends this drive. On the jet sweep, here's Cooper. And he'll do a nice job here just to fight his way back to the line of scrimmage. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. No gain on the play. Defensively, they had that one pretty well figured out. Yeah, one of the things about this play, it can be even more effective when you run a lot of motion and there's plenty of times you don't hand it off. And he'll be close to a first down as the tackle made at the Bills 31. Watson on third down. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he is going to have a Browns first down as that'll be a pickup of about five as they convert on third and inches. They bring pressure there on third down, but this is a nice job of picking it up and making sure their guy has time to deliver the football. And they wind up getting the first down. Watson on first down. And this throw will be intercepted. Picked off by Micah Hyde. And the Bills are going to have the football here at their own 18-yard line. Now still down quite a bit here, several scores, but yeah, at least that's a start charge getting the interception here. And look, we're still in the third quarter, so this thing not done yet. You're right about that, Brandon. This defense, they haven't quit on this game. They stayed with it and got an interception and handed the ball back to their offense. And what you wonder about is the team that just threw that interception, they've got to be careful about developing a sense of complacency and thinking this game is over. Allen will try again on second down. And Diggs has it. He's at the 50. The 30. 10. 5. And all the way home for a Bills touchdown. Stephon Diggs with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Bills are able to get a score back in the final stages of this third quarter. And now Sean McDermott's made the call. They'll go for two. They're going to try and run. And he's going to be stopped here for no gain. And that's going to take us to the end of the third quarter of play. Here's Bass now to send it away. On oh, the return from his end zone is Grant. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Costs him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. The Browns drive about to get started. Certainly no reason to panic. They've got the three-score lead, but... The turnover last time, the interception that led to a touchdown, you'd have to think they might not be dialing that up again. Yeah, probably not. They're still in fantastic shape, though, so I would imagine before he tried it out here for this series, head coach probably just leaned over to him and was like, listen, we're wearing these color shirts. Throw it to those guys, not the others. Try to make a joke out of it and just let them go out there with a little bit more confidence. 
A pretty good results here on the first down run as he takes this forward for about six. And I think we can get used to seeing more of that in this fourth quarter, especially if they're having success on the ground like they did there. Yeah, I think back when we met with the head coach in, in preseason, and all he talked about was building a bully. And I think it was this situation he was envisioning. Trying to ice a game, plenty of time left, but being able to give the ball to his big runner and pound away and try and finish off the game. And hard running's going to get him over the 40 to the 42. Cooper will come in motion right. They'll run for it. Here's Chubb. And he's got the first down as he's up to the 45-yard line. A third down gain of three yards, and that'll be enough. So after two first downs, they get another here. First and 10 at the 45. They'll try and wind down some clock with Chubb. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So the Browns in possession of the football here as we get you reset. And no doubt what they're looking to do is just salt away the final couple of minutes and escape with a win. Cooper, the man in motion right. They run it again with Chubb. And he'll take it across midfield and into Buffalo territory. And quickly, we're going to get another stop here with 1.54 left, as they call the timeout defensively. This will be play number seven on the drive. Third and a yard. They'll send a receiver here in motion right. Now Chubb running right. And he's got this down to the 35. But 209 yards rushing for him now in the afternoon as he just continues to pummel this defense. All runs on this drive so far. It's first and 10. And Watson's going to throw it here. Slant route complete to Bell. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. comes to Chubb. He'll get it inside the 20. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Browns touchdown. Nick Chubb, 30 yards. As his guys have opened up a very comfortable lead. Is it okay if I break one of our rules, partner, which is to never call a game over until it's over? Because this certainly feels like it's over after that drive. Yeah, that was spirit crushing, wasn't it? And now you can you just kind of felt the air go out of the balloon. Yeah, they were fighting so hard to stay in there, and they knew they had to stop them on that drive. But when they were unable to, I think you're exactly right. You could see them sag on their sideline, and I think this one might just be over. A short kick taken at the 18, and able to get this out to the 25. Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this is pretty much out of reach. And Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things with this ball game, but the self-inflicted wounds, they've had several turnovers. You would have to think that's going to be something they're going to discuss heavily in the film session in the coming days. You're absolutely right about that, partner, because they're going to have to sit in that film room and watch every error that they made and figure out how to not do it in the future. And mentally, I think a lot of the guys are already starting to think about, okay, how do we put this behind us and get better for the next time out? This, they'll use as motivation for the rest of the time that they play to hopefully never be in this type of situation again. It looks like a nickel set now for the Browns on third down. Allen going to throw. He finds his man complete. It's McKenzie. He's going to have the first down, and more than that, down the sideline he goes. And he's going to be out of bounds inside the 25-yard line. A big play there on the catch and run, 35 yards. Defensively, I know they have the 
comfortable lead here in the fourth, but they do not want to give up big plays like that. They want to finish strong. So oftentimes in this situation, you tighten up underneath in your coverage and you bring your safeties back. They can pick up anything that leaks through. But in the meantime, upfield, you're making plays on the football. The Bills are going to go ahead and use their final timeout as they'll stop the clock with 24 seconds to go in the game. Again, they'll throw with Allen. His throw incomplete. Well, the trials and tribulations of being a quarterback in this league, it's tough. It's got to be wearing on him out there. Well, he has been sacked a number of times. He had an interception, so I'm going to give him a skosh of credit for hanging in there and trying to make something happen, despite the amount of pressure he's been under this entire game. Now the throw on third down, knocked away and incomplete. Nice back-to-back -back plays defensively. They're stacking momentum now. One incompletion, two incompletion. They're going for more. One final try here for Allen. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. They had to go for it with such little time remaining, and this Browns defense stands tall. So they tried to go for it for pride, but it really wouldn't have mattered. This one, it was already determined. No doubt about it. This one was over a while ago. The Browns drive about to get started. Well, they came into this one with a vision, Charles, and it has played out exactly as they had hoped, if not even better. They've got the huge lead here and now the football for the final moments of the fourth. Yeah, and it was apparent that they were the better team, right? We figured that out pretty early. But give them a lot of credit for staying with it. They didn't stumble around out there. They didn't create a lot of errors for themselves because they were the superior team. They took care of business and closed them out pretty quickly. Second down, here's Chubb again. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. So Cleveland able to come away with the victory. Robbed home with an easy win. And here's the best part for him. It would be easy to get to the airport because the crowd left pretty early in this one, didn't it? Well, plus they have a police escort. Okay, you had to spoil <laughs> that part of it. Of course, they're going to get there. But think about how wide open things are now because this crowd didn't expect this. No. So they went back to the tailgate and said, let's go eat. This, is, this one did any fun for us. Yeah, they took the drama out of this one pretty early on. Come to peace, come to peace, is you know.